two essential items when visiting the Philippines many people forget that can get their vacation off to a stressful start. Looking to date a Filipina or already dating or married to a Filipina? I use my experiences around my relationship with my Filipina wife of six years as well as my professional experience as a qualified relationship counsellor for the past 10 years to help you on your way. Are you after information, tips and resources for a successful relationship with a Filipina and maintain it? Too easy. Just take a second to subscribe and click the bell icon and I promise you'll never miss out again. No doubt many people put a lot of thought into what they'll take when they visit the Philippines but many people don't consider or may forget two essential items. The first item you need to have on your person or in your carry-on luggage and easily accessible and the second essential item you can have in your check-in luggage. It's very likely that after the first time you forget these items you won't repeat the mistake again. So as I say this first essential item you must have on your body or preferably in your carry-on luggage where you can have easy access to it so perhaps in a side pouch so you don't have to rummage through the whole bag is a blue or black pen or possibly one of each color in case one fails to work. Now some of you inexperienced travelers might be saying well why do I actually need a pen? Well I'll tell you how not having a pen really caused me some stress back in 2013 when I went to the Philippines. As we were flying towards Manila the flight attendant brought around passenger cards which needed to be filled out and then you would hand it in at immigration in Manila. I saw many other passengers reach into their top pocket or handbags and get their pen out and start filling in the cards. I think to myself, no problems, I'll just fill out the card when we land, surely they'll have pens there. So when we landed I go to where the people were filling in the forms but there were no pens. I look around and wonder where I can get a pen. Everyone was in such a rush to complete their forms and race off, I didn't want to inconvenience anyone and make them wait while I borrowed their pen. So I wandered around looking for any shops or anywhere I could possibly buy a pen and I was getting rather stressed out. After about 20 minutes I head back towards the immigration line and a worker at the airport asked if I was okay and I told them I'd no pen to fill in the form. Luckily for me the worker had a pen and I completed the form and went through immigration with no problems. But as I say it was rather a stressful situation, not a great experience first up in the Philippines and a pen is the first thing I think of every time that I've gone back to the Philippines since. The second essential item you must take and you can leave this in your check-in luggage is toilet paper or wet wipes or in some countries they might just refer to them as baby wipes. For those that haven't been to the Philippines before may not be aware that for many in the Philippines, especially outside the big city, they don't use toilet paper. This can certainly come as a shock for those not prepared. Imagine going to the toilet, looking for toilet paper, only to find a bucket water with a scoop. I certainly remember that time very, very well. And I kept on thinking that there must be toilet paper somewhere, but then it dawned on me that they don't, in many parts of the Philippines, have a sewage system the same as we have in my country. Eventually I did work it out by myself what I needed to do with the bucket and scoop and it was certainly a very different experience and the start of a very eye-opening vacation. Many of the motels, hotels and resorts in the big cities will have toilet paper but as you go into the province areas you may stop at public toilets where no toilet paper is available and if you're staying with your girlfriend or her family in the province, it will most likely be that they don't use toilet paper either. But just a word of warning and something to remember that if you do take your own toilet paper, be sure not to put it down the toilet because it will cause a blockage. Sometimes they may have a bin next to the toilet to put the toilet paper in after you finish with it, but if not, just ask your girlfriend if she could get you something so you could dispose of the toilet paper properly. I can assure you, the same as with the pen, each trip to the Philippines, the second item I think of is toilet paper or wet wipes, which is more compact and probably easier to carry around. 
If you are looking to visit the Philippines in 2020, be sure to check out Holiday Escape Travel in my pinned comment for the very best prices online for flights and accommodation. And be sure to check the end screen card to see how easy getting the best prices can be. Feel free to like and share the video, subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching, I appreciate all your support, take care and bye for now.